When I was trying to leave the military, it was very hard for us to tell people how I was feeling. I felt ashamed. I felt like a failure. Hi, I'm Mark Foster. I served with the RLC from 2008 to 2012. I um, lost a friend due to him driving over an IED. I tried to hide my feelings, started having panic attacks. I just wanted to, to leave the military. At first I thought I was, I was all right when I came out. I started realising I had a few unusual behaviours. I was isolating a lot. My anger was through the roof. The way I got around this was to drink alcohol. I was drinking two litres bottles of vodka a day, neat out the bottle. I would have arguments with my ex-partner, who I've got my daughter to. I was fighting all the time. I was forever getting arrested. I had to sleep rough through the winter. It was at that point where I had to speak up and get the help what I needed. I got offered help with alcohol recoveries. I just didn't feel the understood us. It started getting to the stage where I was self-harming and that's when I got put in touch with Tills and walking with the wounded. It was a big relief and like a weight off my shoulders. I was speaking to people who understood me. They put us into a, a charity run rehab, which is based on military, and it was the best thing I've ever done. It was structured. It just felt comfortable with the people I was around being ex-military. Yeah, I think the high intensity service is a brilliant idea. I think it'll help the NHS to learn a little bit more about how a military person works. I feel absolutely top of the world. You know, I'm healthy, I've got a roof over my head now. I see my daughter again, life's much better.